players may come into play in a hurry at 227 pounds. Oh, good right hand. If he gets up, I'll be the most surprised person in the house. Here comes Mike Spikes in. He leaves the right hand. Down he goes. Fight funds. It's Jeremy in here again with one punch KO, right? So, I know I've been gone for a while, man. Couple topics I wanna cover, I wanna talk about. The fights that we had um, last week, right? We had Javante Tank Davis um, taking on Mario Barrios, and we had Lomachenko versus Nakatani, right? Let's quickly cover Javante Tank Davis first, all right? It was a good fight. Um, Javante Tank Davis jumping up two weight class to go to 140, all right? Um, even though Mario Barrios Here's the thing, right? Even though Mario Barrios is not an uh, elite fighter, he's not one of the, you know, the big names that we know about. But then again, I'm still going to give um, Tank Davis his credit for jumping up to 140 to fight this guy, right? Because last time he fought a, a 126-pounder that moved up to 130, and people were saying, oh, Leo Santa Cruz is too small. That's why Tank Davis is knocking these guys out because he's fighting smaller guys. Which I find funny, to be honest, because Tank Davis is five foot five. He started at 126 pounds. Now, I know he's more stocky, you know, he's more built. But still, he started fight his um, weight um, division at 126 pounds. So, when people criticize him for fighting smaller guys, when he's five foot five himself, I don't really get it, you know. But um, that's another topic, right? So... Either way, he fought Leo Santa Cruz, people didn't give him that credit, so he jumped up to 140, he fought a bigger guy, 5 foot 11, right, big 140 pounder, and he knocked him out, knocked him down uh, three times, knocked him down in the 8th round and then finished him off in the 11th, right, and yet still people don't give him any credit for that. Now, Tank Davis does need to step up and fight one of the big name guys that we know, right? He needs to step up and fight one of these guys. He needs to step up and he needs to fight a, a Teofimo Lopez. He needs to fight a Devin Haney. He needs to fight a Lomachenko. He needs to fight a Ryan Garcia, right? He needs, to, he needs one of those fights to get that real credibility, right? Because, you know, not, not um, staying on his side of the street has Mayweather want to say. It's not helping Javante Tank Davis' career, right? He's going to continue to get these criticism until he fights one of these um, known guys. Um, so that's the, the thing with that fight. Um, you know, but as far as what I saw in the fight, I mean, yeah, you know, it, it, it was a good fight. It was um, Mario Barrios made a good account of himself, better than what I thought. He won some rounds, but, you know, Tank Davis finished it off after, you know, Mayweather went over there and kind of give him a heads up like hey on some people's scorecards you are down so Tank Davis went and finished it off and I give him props for jumping up 140 right so I do want to see him fight guys like like um Pro Gray I want to see him fight Josh Taylor I don't like what Leonard Ellaby and Floyd Mayweather has been saying right talking about who knows Josh Taylor and what of you Josh Taylor is the undisputed 140 pound fighter in the world he needs to fight one of those guys Teofimo is um, you know, three belt holder in the 135 pound division. That would be a great fight. You know what I mean? We need to see the best fight the best and stop talking about numbers and blah, blah, blah. We don't care as for a real boxing fight fans. We don't care about no damn numbers. We want to, we want to see fight. We want to see blood. We don't want, I don't care about the numbers that you've been putting up or whatever. You know what I mean, I understand that you are a boxer, you are a prize fighter, and you need to make a living. But at the end of the day, you will make a better living if you fight the fights that the fans want to see. You know what I mean? A lot of fans are not going to pay $75 to watch a fight between Gervonta Tank Davis and Mario Barrios. Just, just plain and simple. People don't want that fight. A lot of people will pay for Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis. A lot of people will pay for Tank Davis versus Lomachenko. Tank Davis versus Devon Haney. That's the fights. These fights will be multi, multi million dollar fights, but they are being really short sighted with it and they are protecting that O. And that's the reason why Tank Davis will continue to get criticism no matter what he do in the boxing world if he's not fighting a main challenger, right? Now, when it comes to Lomachenko, oh, 
Lomachenko is back, people. Lomachenko is back. He absolutely demolished Nakatani. And Nakatani is nothing to sneeze at. Nakatani is a big 135 pounder. Right? He's probably the biggest guy at 135 pounds right now. 5 foot 10. Right? He knocked out Felix Verdejo. Right? He gave Teofimo Lopez hell. Teofimo Lopez don't want to fight that guy again. Right? He gave Teofimo Lopez hell and he knocked out Verdejo. Right? He's a hell of a fight for anybody. And Lomachenko just demolished him. Right? For the whole entire duration of the fight. Nakatani just had no answer. And so that pushed me to believe what Lomachenko said. I do believe what Lomachenko said when, um, you know, about his shoulder injury and everything like that. I don't like that he made that excuse because at the end of the day, you know that you had a shoulder injury. You chose to fight because you had that confidence in your talent that you could still win the fight. You chose to fight. Nobody forced you to get in the ring when you are not um a hundred percent healthy so once you lose you don't have no excuse you can't blame it on your shoulder or anything like that i do believe you had a shoulder injury and it caused you to not want to throw the punches in the teofimo lopez fight however i still do not believe that you should make any excuses towards that because you knew you had the injury you chose to fight you stepped in the ring so therefore if teofimo lopez beat you you give that man his credit and you ask for your rematch and you keep it moving you do not make all types of excuses and and whatsoever right because if you won you wouldn't have made any excuses you wouldn't have heard nothing about your shoulder if you had beat teofimo lopez that night you we wouldn't have known that you had a shoulder injury but you redeem yourself you beat nakatani and i do believe that you deserve that fight and i feel like teofimo lopez do not want that fight anymore he is ducking and dodging lomachenko because he knows that from round 7 to 11, he was getting beat up in that fight. And he knows that if Lomachenko is fully healthy, he will have problems. He will have problems. Because Teofimo Lopez looked very shaky through round 7 to 11 against Lomachenko. So, that's the fight that we want to see. That's the fight that needs to be made. Um, you have Teofimo Lopez over here. I don't know what he's doing. I won't speculate when somebody said they have COVID-19, you know, but it's kind of shaky, man. They've been postponing this fight three times already against Cambosos. I'm starting to believe that what Tank Davis says is true, like is whether it's he's not getting them ticket sales or, you know, Teofimo Lopez is having trouble making that weight at 135 and he needs to move up to 140 ASAP because I feel, I feel like that's the case. I don't... Ah, I said I wasn't going to speculate, but here I go speculating. I don't feel like he had COVID-19. I feel like he's just having trouble squeezing into a 135-pound frame right now. Right? He's having trouble making that weight and also not good ticket sales. Because nobody wants to see you know, Teofimo Lopez versus you know, George Cambosos. It might turn out to be a good fight, but again, it's the same thing with... Tank Davis is the same thing with Teofimo Lopez. We want to see you fight those named guys. We want to see you fight Devon Haney. Devon Haney has the WBC belt. And you out here trying to call yourself undisputed, but you are not undisputed. You need to fight Devon Haney before you leave 135 pounds. And you need to give Lomachenko his rematch. All right? Nobody wants to see no George Cambosos Jr. right now. I'm sorry to say you know, all respect to George Cambosos Jr., but that's just how it is, right? So, I feel like Teofimo Lopez is having trouble making the weight. Lomachenko made a good um, account of himself against Nakatani. And I do believe that he defeats Loma, um, Lopez in the rematch. All right. Peace out, boxing fans. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe.